Okay, I had it wired right the first time. The dead gum thing there. You see it? Alright. Now, uh, the other way, it just would stop instantly, so I knew it was grounding out on its own. But, I, and I have, I measured this at uh, 20.10 on this little bad boy right here okay now whatever my material height is I said this is representing my material height this box is all right let's do a probe let's check it there we go okay now I've done change a bit and all that shit and I've uh, here I go. I'm ready to go to work. Alright. Let me just get that out the way. Like so. And then I would put my G-code in. And this thing would automatically come down because it knows the exact height of the top of this right here. And it'll go right straight to it and start cutting it. And the reason that is because it subtracts right here. It subtracts this off or adds it to it. I think it adds it to it or something, I don't know. But that little dude and that, it, it does it. So I got that programmed in there. I did it. I moved it up a little faster too. So this one is good. I got this one. This is Gerbil. Alright, I got that one taken care of right there. Now I have another guy that's doing it. And it's over here in the uh, universal g-code sender and I gotta go back and watch him to see how he set it up in there and when I installed all this shit for some reason uh, Mach 3 popped in but oh damn it didn't do what I wanted it to do hmm I have to find the values uh, where they are, you know, for the Z and the X, the Y, and all that stuff. Ain't none of that in. I don't know. I gotta find the values. I had them on there, and then I screwed up and clicked X. <laughs> I screwed that up. Look, this ain't none of it. So I have to go in here or, or read more up on this thing and try to find that one. All right, here we go. Let's, I'm on COM4. I got that all set up and it's good. Uh, this way I can use either one of them, whichever one I want to use. And I want them both set up. Because this is just a one part machine, one part at a time. Now, the big router out there, I can do several. Uh, I can set it up where I have like five, six different parts I can cut. You know, kind of like cabinet making, you know, when they use these machines for cabinets. You just set your little part thing up and it'll go to that little area, work on that one, go to the next one, work on that one. And I've got it set up like that. I just can't get set up. I did that while I was in Silicaga. Now I need a place to set it up. And I got a place. Yeah. Probably coming along, I don't know, but <laughs> shit. I don't know. I need what they call them people, uh, what do they call those? Uh, sponsors? <laughs> I need some serious sponsoring going on here. Well, yeah. Alright, y'all. Peace, but there it is. Okay, I got this one set up in Gerbil right now. And I'll do it again later, you know. Uh, but it won't ever be accurate until I change this. Doesn't matter, I can buy another one of those, $49, and then go through the same shit again later. Or just go ahead and buy the aluminum bed for $89 and be done with it, and it'll be rigid. More accurate. From here to the middle, to the back, to the side, to the side, to the front, up, and down. Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, I could make a rap song now, with my little bit of a CNC.
get down with me. Okay. 